down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. What is going on, guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo, and welcome to Dying Light. This zombie apocalyptic adventure does not release till the end of January, but I'm lucky enough to have early code, and so we're checking it out here. If you guys think it looks sweet and want to see more, just smash that like button, and I will bring it your way. There are plagues in the skies and plagues on the streets, and we are headed to find an antidote. We were all asked not to show the intro and the opening to the game, so I'm gonna honor the request and start it off right here. I will say that I've been so far super impressed with the atmosphere. It sets a very nice tone. We've been dropped into this infected city on a secret mission, met some friends, established a base, and now we're heading out for the very first time. There's nobody on the streets just yet. Playing this on the PC, it looks really really gorgeous I've been super impressed with the opening of the game so far like kind of really impressed all right that car taking a bath in flames I know how you feel sometimes I feel the same I hear the sounds of zombies this game is all about movement and mauling evil creatures so hopefully we can do a little bit of both climb up here <laughs> climb up here stay on the the high ground. You see any zombies? Some were there, maybe? No? I just hear their evil squirms and germs. Um, you can, like, pick up stuff to craft. There's a level up system. And now you're seeing, like, our sweet movement skills as we try to, like, work our way to Dr. Zare. Oh! God! That's a good way to break a leg, dude. Holy crap. I haven't reached my, uh, my faith level of free running yet. Mirror's Edge is. One of my favorite games. Hello. What's up? We found one of them in the wild. Looking like a lost zebra. There's a lot of them. Okay, I'm going to go back to the doctor. You guys look like a fun time. Um, but this world looks pretty darn cool. I mean, you got this survivor vision that helps you sort of find and locate things. I think the interface in general looks really nice. This is a hard lock picking. Probably not going to work out so well for us. I'm going to get out of here. Not even an attempt there. Skill is not at that level. Duct tape. I know how to craft a med kit. It's about it this far. I like how the buildings, there's interiors and exteriors, though. It's a big thing in next gen is, like, they're going to start really utilizing, um, what do you call it? Interiors as well as exteriors. We saw that in Unity uh, from Assassin's Creed. I got a flashlight. You want to look in the bathroom? This is a very deep, like, someone must have really stinky problems in the toilet. It's pretty far away from the door in the sink. Alright, doctor, doctor, please come fast. I just think it graphically looks really nice. Like, it's a super pleasant surprise so far. I'll have to play more with you guys and see what we really think. Batteries is the first time I've got those. Some plastic as well. Alright, I better get to doctor. So you use... I'm playing with a controller, an Xbox One controller, um, and you use the right bumper as sort of your movement button extraordinaire, um, and that will really help you get from place to place. We have to cross this gap. Am I going back across the bridge? That's the tower. So where is Doctor? Can I pull my map? In? Oh! A friend is not a friend until you bash him. <laughs> Let's search this bad boy. What do you got on you? Nine dollars. Alright, I thought I thought the Doctor um, was that yellow dot, but that's just the tower. Oh well. Got a good chance to wander around for a second here. Anybody in the back of this truck? Can we pull up a map screen? No. Probably should turn on my flashlight. Got two different weapons here. Um, this big pipe, this wrench, actually three, and then this, I think it's a chair leg. <laughs> Pretty sweet, though. Um, and I can bandage myself up with a health pack, which I did not need to do, but I will hit this bikini balloon filled. Ugh, get down on the ground. I can also kick him. And they've got some nice, like, ragdoll physics on their bodies, which is pretty sweet. I mean, you can see my weapon is, like, kind of running thin here. Um, is that where I need to go? Maybe it is. I thought that was just my, uh, my home base. But I think Dr. Zare is actually over there. Sorry for getting a little lost. Kind of just enjoying the, uh, the scenery and showing off a little bit of what the game has to offer. We'll head to this doctor, though. It's back across the bridge. Or this is maybe a new bridge. I'm, I don't know. I'm making progress. You'll see that we're leveling up. Um, I think actually I am, I have been progressing the correct way the whole time. But you'll see that we're uh, making progress on our different, um, what do you call it? Our different like leveling up meters. There's like the running meter on the left. 
and then the combat meter. I can execute uh, different attacks here. Yeah. Get out of here. When you're out of stamina, your attacks are slower. Okay. So combat does feel very much um, in sort of that dial in fashion. I'll be interested to see when you start modifying your weapons and whatnot how it goes. But we tore. Oh, we didn't tear that guy apart. He's been torn apart. We definitely beat these guys to bloody pulps. Um, run through the flames, duck, and go. This person says, hello, big kick in the face. I love the noise that the zombies make in this game. They sound really, like, animalistic. They kind of remind me of, like, a little bit of kind of like a sound you might have expected from something, uh, with the Cordyceps virus. And this is a totally different breed. Beast mode for these guys. I don't know how they work in packs. That girl just fell off. Can I just stop her head? Ugh, can I crush your freaking. Come on. Ugh, head crush under the car. That's where you belong. Fix it, Fleming, please. Fix the car. Alright. So I'm about to level up my weaponry, and there's a third. Okay, let's go to that uh, evil chair leg. This is very early on in the game. I'd say I played for about half an hour or so. What you got? I like how all these people are just carrying like pocket change. Yes, power leveled up. Okay, got a skill point. I'll just see what that does. Finish off these pretty freaky zombies. I hear another one too. Oh god, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Oh, there, there's walkers everywhere. Luckily, we haven't seen any of the evil guys yet. But uh, ooh, a little bit of spinage there. A little moral combat. I'm seeing his body. Getting some points and finishing them off. Put your lady friend down in the depths of the grass too. Show us your stealth. <laughs> Crawl under the. My weapon is broken. Great. So I'm gonna have to find new weapons pretty soon because these are all losing their uh, their health pretty quickly. Let's go into that level up screen. Oh my god, dude! Don't do that. You freaked me out. I can use this thing. What am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna climb it. Hold up. I'm going to higher ground. <laughs> Let's get away from this dude. I don't want to see him. Stay out of my face. I'm going to climb on top of the freaking street lamp. Okay. And from here, um, where is my... Here we go. Okay. Here's my inventory. You can see all the stuff I have. Um, can I repair some of this? I have three repairs left. Okay, cool. So I can like repair the rusty pipe wrench. Um, use metal parts. Repair the table leg. Table leg has... No damage right now. That item has no repairs left. Okay, so we should repair this. And that used one of our metal parts. Interesting. Okay. So we've got blueprints here. That's where I can build a med kit. And now I have skills. I have a skill point to spend. And there's survivor, agility, and power. Survivor must just be through playing through the game missions and whatnot. Agility is moving around. And now I've got the skill point to spend here. The power tree allows you to face your opponents directly. You'll hit hard and leave lots of dead bodies in your path. Okay, sweet. Um, stun. Learn how to attack with great precision. Each strike of the blunt weapon to an enemy's head has a chance to stun. Okay. That's where we'll start. And then later on you can see we get a lot of cool stuff. Okay, sweet. I love skill trees. I love character upgrades. Sure. Um, agility trees allow you to un outrun, perform climbs, jumps, free running moves. And then survivor blueprints, gadgets. Um, get a couple, yeah, complete quests and help people out and that will help us get there. Okay, sweet. So now we have a stun if we get a headshot. And I should probably climb down from my totem pole place of power. This guy's like, I forgot about you. Oh! No! Don't bite me like that. Get out of here. Ugh. I'm gonna search your friends. Make sure I gather everything until the very end. Okay. I don't know if that's a stun or not. Definitely aiming for the head. I'm guessing we'll be able Ooh! Yes, I was gonna say, I'm guessing we'll be able to decapitate, guys. And there you have it. Let's get to this doctor before I die. I feel like that's kind of a crucial... Okay. Got some people all over. If I run, they said it's gonna attract more of them. But this is quite the scene, so I'm gonna try to escape back out of here. Hope they don't grab a hold of me. Okay, the doctor, he's... Oh, he's there. Okay. He's close by. I almost ran past you, doc. Can I climb up? No? Okay, we gotta find a better entry. Let me in! Let me in! Doctor, doctor! Oh, I can make it from up there. Okay, cool. Um, in that case... So climb up here. So far the climbing has been pretty cool. Like, you tap right bumper to jump, and hold right bumper if you want to get, like, a grab and hold, which is pretty nice. Okay. Hey! I'm in the safe zone. We cool? We cool. 
All right, where's this doctor friend of yours? I hope those rotting fuckers ever figure out how to climb on top of a van. Hello? Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh, shit. You really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Thanks, Doc. We suppressed our stinky rabies variant, but we didn't cure it, which doesn't sound Thing very good. Keeps you alive, so don't slow. Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. <laughs> so, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Right. So that's one of the guys back at base that likes to help us out. It looks like we picked up a survivor point as well. So we'll pop that in. I kind of like that we got lost in the city at the beginning. There's shops, quartermasters, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, Spike, are you down in here? Is this you? Hey, keep a distance from Rises, man. Spike, all right. Well, before we speak to Spike... Um, let's go view the skill tree here. And we get Survival Starter Kick. Learn how to craft the most basic things needed. Lockpicks, firecrackers, throwing stars, Molotov. That sounds awesome. All right, so now I, I have throwing stars. I have Molotov. Sweet. Oh, we should do this. Okay, 88 damage. And then obviously, Molotovs are incredible as well. So let's grab some throwing stars. We'll craft these up. I do like the whole interface. All like the systems just look pretty cool. Firecrackers. Distraction there. Lockpicks. Okay, sweet. Um, so in my inventory, you'll see all the parts I have. And I'm guessing then... I learned how to craft lockpicks. I'm guessing I can't use weapons as a safe zone. Anyways, we'll figure it out after Spike. Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. <laughs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right. Shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antizen keep getting raided by Ryze's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Ryze and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antison, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. <laughs> they make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. I like how this guy just made some firecrackers. You're a freaking human Mickey Mouse lighting up the sky Disneyland style. Alright, we gotta prepare some traps for Brecken's mission. He's gonna go grab some more 
Well, I thought it was antidote, but it's more like suppressant. Ugh. Broken weapons, of course. We got those throwing stars as well that we can use if needed. Alright. So looks like we gotta get across the city here. Jump on here. Drop down. Real quick, I'm gonna bring up the uh, controls. I just wanna see how I throw stars. Um, this also gives you a chance to sort of see what's going on in the game. Primary weapon, secondary weapon. Alright. Da, 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 da. Equipment. Left trigger. That's probably my throwing star then. Okay. Sounds good. Oh yeah, because I can switch this. Here you can see I've got firecrackers and throwing stars, and then left trigger is probably going to be what I've got. The sun is starting to set. And I don't know if you guys have seen some of the uh, preview coverage of this game, but that's not a good... Not a good sign, not a good thing, except it does look gorgeous. Okay. First, the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. Okay. Ooh. Check. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Uh-oh. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Oh, jeez. Where at? Alright, I'm on it. Which way? Okay. Let's head for it. Alright, we're gonna try to actually take a high route and see if that might help our agility stack. Maybe we can grab a point of agility along the way. I wonder if there's gonna be any, like, fast, super crazy zombies that like to, like, stay on the rooftops or anything to make this sort of a nightmare for you as well. You know what I mean? Come on. Uh, pull yourself up, Crane. You can do it. I do like the, uh, sort of the introduction of... Uh, oh my god, I just caught that ledge so barely, but we climbed all the way up, which is brilliant. Um, I like, what I was trying to say is I love the introduction of the, um, the parkour and stuff. Alright, I like how he can just hoist his way up. He's got arm strength of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Okay, so these guys are in trouble somewhere. I'm trying to build that agility skill. You see I'm getting points every, like, cool jump and everything I make. They're loving us up here. All right. Five points. Oh! Should we try the throwing stars? Oh, yes! <laughs> Gouge that girl real bad. Can repair this weapon right now. Probably a good idea. Maybe there'll be kid zombies. I guess I guess what I'm saying I like more is that there's a variety of clothing and they all look kind of creepy and messed up. And I like how you occasionally get those amazing, oh my god, kills. Oh god, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. My weapon is already broken. I gotta get out of here. Stuff breaks quick. Man. I mean, I've got this wrench, but we should probably leave the, uh, the site. Save our goodies for these guys. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Gotcha. And then we're going for the kill. Okay. Kick him back. Get the head. Get the head. Get the head. Yes. Okay, this guy is done for. I think she needs another kick in the cranium. And we'll finish the fight. Cigarettes. Blah. We're in Haran here. Hey. <laughs> Help me. I want to. Come on. Oh, man, I think oh. it's too late for this guy. Holy crap. Ooh. I clobbered his head straight off his body and okay, split it in it's done. two. Fuck. Ugh. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. Okay. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. All right. Turn the power on to unlock. This is a safe zone here. No inside. Crank this up. Beautiful. Ah, shit. All right, let's contact the GRE from the roof. Get up there to get a better signal. It feels like a pretty nice living, breathing world. It'll be interesting to see how well they populate it, what kind of side quests, what kind of uh, different zombie variety, what sort of stuff. Um, but so far, I gotta say I'm impressed. Got the lights on? Nope. 
Uh, almost. Just give me a second. Yeah, I got a little, uh, little secondary mission to take care of here. Um, but it has come together pretty nicely since the first time I saw it. Um, way back at E3. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I would, I would hope that we get to explore some of these other areas, like rocky palm trees and different stuff, and how big and varied this city is. Like it could be a, could be a nice sleeper of a game in January with that fun zombie combat. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello. Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Alright, so we got some secret government objectives. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. All right, so we're setting up some more traps, and I think we'll play a little more of this game if you guys want to see it. Super awesome early look at Dying Light. Hope you guys had fun with this one. I definitely did. Smash that like button if you are excited and into this. Till next time, guys and girls, watch out for zombie viruses because, man, antidotes seem few and far between, and the birds, they don't like the scene either. Flames, crazy people, lots of chaos. Luckily, though, we're armed with some pretty awesome weapons and some sweet parkour skills, which helps us be the prince of this exotic... City. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Thanks again. Drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.